Yo guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to make a decaf song in Audacity. Let's go ahead and start by opening up Audacity. If you don't know how to do that, double click on Audacity. Durr. And it should hopefully load up for you. And what we're going to do from there, this is my new computer by the way. So it runs Intel Atom, so that's why this resolution is not too good. But I'm going to get better screen recording in a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to File. If you, have, if you haven't opened up a file yet, all you got to do... Put this into a window, and let's say I want to put in, put in Legend here. This goes wherever you saved it at. I have a custom savings thing from, what you call it, my uh, my downloads. I save it to my Google Drive on my computer here. That's really cool. And um, so here we go. So now that we're in here, let's see if I can move this down here. There you go. All right. So now that we got this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to effects and we're gonna first gonna base boost it. These are my settings for decaf, 27 base, 4 treble, or you can put up to like higher or whatever. I put on 4, I like, I like on 4, it sounds like kinda cool. It gives it a big punch. And I have volume output, negative 16. We also, what's cool about this is that you can, you can test it. Let's put on my audio. Not too much. Get too much of that song at least. Let's hear it. Alright. Alright, here we go. Like that. There you go. That's a good one. Alright, so now we're going to apply the bass and treble. So let's say this is going to be our song and we're going to decaf. Decaf is basically whenever you slow down the song, it's pitch and tempo to make it have less a more powerful bass and lower frequency bass. So first I always change the pinch without changing the tempo. So up here you don't have to mess around with anything up here. All you gotta do under here under frequencies is um percentage change is fifteen. I'll just preview it. It sounds totally different now. See how it sounds different? Let's see apply. It's gonna take about a couple of seconds. This is a big actually I didn't take that long. Now it's gonna sound totally more different. We're gonna go up to effect. We're gonna go into tempo. It's gonna say change tempo without changing pitch. Put that to 15 also. This is gonna extend the song out a little bit longer. It's gonna make it very slow and make the brace lower. It's gonna sound really cool. So here we go. See how it's slower now? Turn my amp. Here. Ooh. Wow, it's, the pianos already sound pretty cool. Here's the bass. That yeah, bass is really low. So what we're gonna do now? Which again, how to do it? If you, if you want to see that, so let's go into Google here. Let's make a try. I'm gonna put in studio by um. I'm sorry, it's a little bit laggy right now. It's taking so much of my processor. Um, so yeah. Yeah, this is what sucks about it. I'll show you in a little bit. Actually, but, um, the computer's really nice though. It has a 1920 times 1080 resolution screen. It's an Insignia Flex 1.6 inch. Alright, so I'm going to show you once again how to do this very fastly. I'm going to take out, this is a music video, so I'm going to take this out. That's what it sounds like without the bass boost. Bass boost on. I'm doing this very fast just to show you the difference of how much bass actually will have. If you have headphones on, it's probably a good idea to have headphones on. I'll, I'll say that in the beginning of the video too. This time I'm going to start with the tempo. Just to, see, just to show you how much it will spread out back here. Where my mouse is at. It'll probably go to 45, I believe. Probably at least to 40. Yeah. See, it slows it down. And then they change the pitch to make it so it sounds really cool. Oh, that's 14. Cancel that real quick. Oh, it's got to be a 15. It has to be a 
15. It has to be the exact number. It's just sounds really cool now. That's basically it's really low on this thing song. So if you have like an amp, plug your headphones in and listen to this. Turn my my down too. That's loud. But anyway, guys, that's how I do it. Um, I'm going to show you the specs of my computer real quick. Actually, yeah, let's turn that off. All right. So I'm going to go into CPU ID. I just actually can play Call of Duty World War II. All right, here we go. So, um, yeah. Actually, works pretty good as a computer. I'm sorry for the resolution. I'm going to try to get a new screen recorder today, this morning. I actually got to go to school in half an hour. But here we go. I got Intel Atom X5... 7300 as four cores, four threads, blah blah blah. Main board is Insignia. Memory, I have two, two gigabytes, one megabyte, it's two gigabytes, right? I can't remember. Graphics is Intel HD graphics, blah blah blah. But um, we can do bench CPU. Yeah, it'll just do all the crap for you. But I'll link it down in the description CPU ID. I'll also link down in the description to Audacity and OBS if you want to start recording. But thanks so much for watching, guys. See ya.